Today's topic. People. <laughs> no, no, no. This energy, bro. When you're dating somebody, okay, you guys need to learn how to about your dating lives. People are too gossipy, gossipy about every detail with people that they've dated. They go tell their friends everything. Now, I'm going to talk about women because I only dated women. I'm dating you. I'm showing you an intimate part of myself. And you go to your friends and you tell them everything. And you don't think that's a violation of my privacy? So who shares more with their friends, men or women? Women. women. <laughs> okay. Girls share more with their friends. Women. Um, I think both do. Women. Definitely. Women share more jobs. I just feel like girls have more like details and re more reactions to it because they're more open with their feelings and about their information. So like they're open more. Guys, they kind of just say something and then it's like that's it. Should a man just assume that all of his girlfriend's female friends know everything about him? Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, for sure. Yes. My friend knows everything, every little detail about me and my boyfriend's relationship. Almost every little detail. She knows <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird. So she got like a weird yeah, pause. Yeah. That shit got yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I went, how oh, hell now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, don't kill me. Have you ever had a friend share something about her boyfriend you felt was inappropriate? Um, yes, Oversharing? Yeah. Yep, actually, yeah. yeah. No. No. <laughs> no. No, I mean. I think of it like, oh, like they're comfortable with me, but not like, okay, that's too much. It's like oversharing, and it's like, after a while, it just like gets too deep. Yeah. Uh, kind of. Um, like, it can be kind of weird what they say, but I don't really mind it because we're all just like open about it. I don't really think that any topic is inappropriate among friends. A friend shares with me would be inappropriate. Because I'm always open if anyone wants to like say anything to me. I don't really want to like judge them and say like, oh, like that's too much. They shouldn't be telling me that. Yeah. Do you ever get nervous about what details a man you're, sh you're dating shared with his friend? Yeah. It's just like I don't want my business to be out there and I don't want them to know literally everything about me. Because it's like I'm comfortable with him only. So it's like if everyone knows that about me, then like what's our special relationship? Yeah. Definitely. If anybody's like talking about me, like it, that just makes me nervous. I don't really think that any topic is inappropriate among friends. I don't think anything that a friend shares with me would be inappropriate. Because oftentimes we feel like, man, why don't you open up more? Do I want all your friends who I'm not dating to know my business? Men, why don't you trust us more? You can't be trusted with a secret. That's why. I didn't sign up for you to tell everyone else. If you would have told me a secret in confidence, like, and I have never, not once, ever thought of going to tell my friends the details that they tell me. But ladies, apparently you just feel comfortable just sharing all these details. And I'm just like, where do you get off? Like the audacity to, you know, with, with the tea, I think, when he went and told the whole world about his daughter's gynecology. It's her privacy. You can't be out there and talk about it. But yeah, but you do it. You do it often. And your justification is girls talk. I'm good because I know where my self-esteem is. Yeah. I'm fine. But a dude who, who isn't in it, bruv, if he finds out that everyone. Here it goes. Another man trying to mansplain to women how they should act. You know what the only time I've ever mentioned like an actual name to my friends about like someone I was sleeping with? The only time I've ever done it, right, is when the girl was legitimately like crazy and one of my friends was going to date her. Then I was like, yo, bro, watch out because she did this to me. And I just want to warn you because I don't want you to be in a bad I'm situation. I'm going to give you the ace of base. I'm going to give right? you the like, sign. You know what I mean? That's it. Otherwise, I keep most of the names private because that's an intimate experience that they shared with me, not with me and my friends. Mm -hmm. I guess, you know, girls will be girls. Yo. <laughs> when women are talking with their friends about men that they're dating, how much detail do they go into? We can get pretty deep in detail. I feel like they go into a decent amount of detail. A lot. A lot. A lot. I take quite a bit of detail. They get into a lot of detail. The women get into a lot of detail, more than the guys. Most of it? Yeah, most of it. Like a lot. <laughs> Like all of it? All of it? Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. You 
go into as much detail as possible with your friends so that they can give you some kind of objective view. Um, everything. Most girls share everything, like sex life, dating life, like everything. Would men be shocked if they overheard women talk about men? Might yeah. Be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. sure. I know because a lot of my friends are girls and I'm shocked most of the time. Because you sat in with us in our guy group. Compared to the ladies. Yeah, because I have really, I have both. Yeah. I have our guy group, right? And I have the rest, like a bunch of my friends. And yo, the guy's like, go. Cool. Right, and you know, whatever, things went wrong. What, what happened? Uh, she said something when she said, she said, oh, really? Well, that's bad, man. Whatever. Da, da, da. Okay, move on. Girls? <laughs> okay. So what happened was he picked me up around 7, 7.30 during it was 725. So like when I get there, I get down the stairs. I was wearing my blue dress. You know, my blue, you know, the one I like, you know, the one from New Year's. <laughs> the whole thing. Size of the curve, the coloration, the discoloration, the taste, the everything. They go into everything, into every single bit of it. The guys, eh, not so much. Very vague about that. If you're a guy and you go with a girl, with a girl you just met, and you meet her friends, and like, oh, hi, hi, they know everything. If you <laughs> that girl, they know everything. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, so excuse me, your name is Jason. Jason, boom, she knows. You know, if you're a girl and you meet your guy friends, the guys are going to be like, that's the girl you just yeah. That's most of all, all we know. Yeah. Okay. You know what happened? One time I laid the pipe really good. Then I met her friend. I was like, hey, my name's Abba. She went, I know. Yes. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> you know, it kills me. It's like, I gave the girl I was seeing, like, first degree. But then her friends got second degree. Oh. <laughs> breaking hearts. <laughs> you breaking hearts, bro. That shit killed me. When they went, I know. It was creepy and subtle, but we had to move past it. Because I'm like, I'm not going to let it sit in this moment. But it was so like... Oh, she knows everything. Yes, everything. If but you're a guy, everything. you're stepping with your, you know everything. Well, scientifically, they're just as likely. Both sexes are just as likely to gossip. Women, yeah, it's just women, like, women far longer yeah. and women far more details. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're not saying that men don't do it. The amount of detail and the depth of the detail that they go into is really... Yo. And women know this is true. You want to know how I know this is true? Because 70% of women who are bullied at the workplace are by other women. In terms of workplace gossip, character assassination, this is well documented. Most women who report at work reported from other female coworkers. Some you of the know, meanest yeah. things that they've had to hear yeah. are from other women. Yeah, you don't toxic femininity. <laughs> you are on your pet. No. If, if it, it, it's one thing, like I, I could give a, a, an advice to women, it's as, as a guy. If I look at you and I look who you hang out with, and your friends are sloppy and loud and this your friends c'est pas possible parce que I know I know that you're gonna go to sloppy sloppy Joanna <laughs> and rattle everything and sloppy Joanna is sloppy so she's gonna slop away you know what I mean so there's it reduces your chances I'm done venting about this I can see that <laughs> oh you mad <laughs> Because it's a violation of privacy. Yeah, I know it is. You know what it is? It's what I think we talked about before. It's like consideration. Wait. What you mean? You want to go through life not being a nuisance to other people. Yeah. So when a girl comes to me and she asks, yeah, I'm trying to let her off as easy as possible. Absolutely. Because yeah. I don't want her ego to be damaged. I yeah. want her to be ready yeah. for whatever next relationship Ab she has. Mm. And I will not try to traumatize people. You know, that's like probably the biggest, like I think, scary thing about rejection or any of that stuff is like, it's not even the rejection from the woman. It's everyone else around. Oh, everybody's watching. Right? Everybody's watching. But on that, it's like, I'll give you a perfect example. I went up to a girl, right? Someone I knew, and I was like, yo, you want to go on a date sometime? She's like, nah. Took that L on my forehead, bounced. Two weeks later, I'm talking to some other girl. She's like, yo, I heard you asked her out. And I was like, who told you that? She's like, she did. She's been telling everyone. And I was like. There's a lot of girls. It is, it's a trophy to say no to God. You don't know who asked me out the other day? Who? That guy, that guy, that guy. And I said, no, that's a trophy. I could, bro. It's like, you're not special. I wanted to smash and dash. And I was like, yo, you trying to do it too? And you're like, nah, I'm like, okay, I moved on. 
But then you had to go and act like it was a giant deal. It'd be like me applying at McDonald's, I get rejected, and then McDonald's is like, you won't believe who we rejected for a job. It's, it's like, why would you do that? And like, I could handle it because of the fact that, you know, for me, I, I got at least some self-esteem. So like, it didn't bother me that other people knew. But it did made me think of her differently. And I was like, how low class do you have to be to share that information? Like, if we had slept together, I would not have gone to everyone to be like, yo, you want to know who I smashed? Like, that's not something I would have done. I would have not put your name out there to even my best friends. Like, I've encountered poom pooms that smell so bad that I got to do the fat Joe lean back when I'm hitting it. Because, like, it's... And, and I would never, ever think of going Damn, to... Damn, Abba, you're giving your all. Yeah, no. <laughs> and I would never think of going around to gossip about those details about that girl. Because I already know that women are already self-conscious enough about this shit as it is. So I would not want to ruin that reputation for her or make her feel terrible, right? So me, I just thought it was so immature that I was like, you went to gossip to everybody. And I asked her, I'm like, yo, are you going around telling everybody? And she's like, yeah, well, you know what it is. Girls talk. Just just calm down. For real, dude, like, you're you're putting this out of proportion. It was just, you know, locker room talk. So quick shout out to Alexander Grace. He's the one who did a lot of this interview footage. He runs a good YouTube channel. So if you want to check out more interviews like the one he was doing with those girls, be sure to check out his channel.